Let's take a look at this vintage Sigma model RF2000 SWR and watt meter. So I came across this little vintage meter and I knew as soon as I saw it that I had to have it. It's super basic, but it's everything you need in an SWR and a watt meter. One side has your transmitter input, and the other side is the antenna output. This little meter was made by Amateur Wholesale Electronics, Miami, Florida. From the research I was able to do, I found out that Amateur Wholesale Electronics was in business from roughly 1969 to 1993, and they made quite a few of these little devices. I feel like I got pretty lucky on this score because it actually included the original instructions, and what's really neat is that these instructions are so poorly written that somebody actually had to go back and rewrite parts of it themselves. And if I can zoom in here, you'll also notice that they reference something called the center knob setting point chart, which is not included in these instructions anywhere. So I'm assuming that must have been a separate piece of paper that must have been lost over the years, because even the two little charts that are included are not the chart that they're talking about. My research also uncovered that these instructions are super hard to find, so I scanned them into my computer, and there's a link to that PDF down below, just in case you have one of these and need the instructions. I also found this old ad from Ham Radio Magazine, January of 1978, where they were selling this meter, as well as this one-page tear sheet that shows the Sigma RF2000 for sale, $29, which in today's currency, would be about $125. So in the trading that I did for this meter, it actually ended up not costing me anything. So pretty cool. It seems to work pretty well from the testing that I was able to do and seems to be fairly accurate. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and our brief look at the Sigma Model RF2000. And if you did, well, you know what to do. Spots for all that stuff down below. And maybe, just maybe, I'll see you on the next video. If you enjoy videos about the randomness of our amazing world, consider clicking on the globe to subscribe, or maybe checking out one of the other videos right here.